Hi, welcome to this week's brief book review. The book we're looking at this week is called The Drowning Hour by S.K. Tremaine, otherwise known as author Sean Thomas. This is Sean's fifth book and was released in the UK in June 2022. Uh, you can probably tell what the book's about by the front cover, which says, an isolated hotel, a desperate woman, an island she can't escape. It's a psychological thriller. It's based on a fictional island on the east coast of the UK called Dorsey Island. It's Norfolk, Suffolk area, an area of, um, of desolation in some places, but also outstanding natural beauty, an area which includes, uh, you know, wildlife reserves, oyster beds, uh, marinas, the odd nuclear power station. But that's where it's based, Dorsey Island. Our, um, our hero in the book is a lady called Hannah, Hannah Langley. Hannah's got a job as a PR manager for the hotel on the island, a hotel which she has helped rebrand to be called the Stanhope. Um, the, the people that have just bought the Stanhope have ploughed a lot of money into it. They've got, you know, brilliant Wi-Fi, redone all the, all the fixtures and fittings to make it really nice and employed a top level chef, someone who could get a job in any way for a restaurant to uh, to entice the foodies to the hotel and this is working well you know they're using using local locally sourced um, produce to produce a you know a stunning menu which is uh, attracting foodies as well as the usual bird watchers and sailors that go to the stanhope things are going well until one one day there's a uh, there's a cloud on the horizon because uh, during the summer there's been a party at the stanhope and some guests have gone into the water and unfortunately met their death because of the title of the book, The Drowning Hour. The Drowning Hour is a particular uh, occurrence where the North Sea meets the local estuary and creates a riptide. It drags people underneath, when, when at high tide, drags people underneath. And there's been an incident in the summer where people have, have died and clearly that leaves a, a stain on the hotel's reputation. They've managed to rebuild that reputation while getting more and more traction with guests coming. But there's a, there's a slight undercurrent there. And um, Hannah is, is also a little bit worried because she doesn't know the full story of that night and she'd like to know what's going on. Um, it turns out that uh, things suddenly start getting a whole lot worse. Um, there's a social media and email campaign where somebody has got hold of the, the Stanhope's guests and you know, outlined the problems of the drowning hour and the issues and the, the events that happened where people died in the summer and all of a sudden bookings are, uh, are dropping. The big problem for Hannah is that since that in incident, she's developed a phobia of water. So basically she's stuck on an island and she can't get out. Um, there's a, you know, she's effectively isolated so that's how the story begins. The story develops where the hotel's take-ins and bookings drop considerably. And in the end, Hannah's left on the island with, with just one companion, a dog she's rescued from the, uh, from the river, called, she's called Greedy Gut. Um, and, and clearly things aren't going well. There's all sorts of things going on in the hotel. There are there's a mystery east wing, which is uh, effectively abandoned with stuff going on there. Um, there are boats arriving in the evening that Hannah doesn't know who's on them or what they're doing. So very much a psychological thriller. And you get the sense of, uh, of isolation that, uh, what, that the Hannah's experiencing. You get the, um, the it's very atmospheric. Yeah, Dorsey Island itself has got a reputation, uh, lots of folklore of missing people of witches and all sorts going on. Um, so that effectively is the story. Is now Hannah can solve the mystery of, uh, of Dorsey Island and how she can, uh, she can endure and uh, beat, beat her phobia. Um, takes a while to get stuck into this book. It took me a while. It was very slow to start, but once it got going, I found it very good. There are a couple of minor niggly things. Now, Hannah's difficult to empathize with because she sees things and hears things and some of which aren't there and sometimes you feel empathy for her and other times you know, you're not always that bothered um, there's also some Hannah and her sister have a, a, a childish cope where they stick the term bobs and, uh, and and on the end of sentences so you know the holiday will be called holly bobs um, so that you know can be mildly irritating at the start of the book 
but it's worth sticking with and uh, say once he once he gets going it's a really good psychological thriller uh, i enjoyed it i'd give it seven out of ten um well worth a read so that's it for today's brief book review and i am trying to keep them slightly briefer than they have been um 10 10 so we do it again see you next week <laughs>